Hey, what's going on, guys? Boki here, and I just got Battlefield 2042, and I gotta say, this game sucks! It's trash. It's not good right now. It's not in a good state. And yeah, I should have listened to everybody else, but I just wanted to get it out there. I wanted to buy the game so you didn't have to just yet. It could be good down the line. We'll have to see. But here's the problem, guys. Here's my biggest problem with Battlefield 2042. I can't even play the game. I have a 1660 Ti. Not the greatest. Not the worst. But it should be able to manage Battlefield 2042 at 60 frames per second at low settings. At the least, okay? Even on low settings, I cannot manage to play this game or even enjoy it. I don't even care to keep playing it. I played over 10 matches. They're all different maps. And I don't know, man. There's a lot of things to say about this. Aside from just the optimization and how poor that is right now. And again, in my last video, I said DICE normally has a rough time. They have rough launches. They're not very good. Flashback. Launch Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5. I mean, they all were trash at launch. Let's be honest. We have to be realistic about this and know that DICE always messes up in the beginning. And that's its biggest downfall. End of flashback. Battlefield 5 wasn't good. Battlefield 4 was awful. I can't even remember at this point. It's pretty much a blur. But Battlefield releases at launch are not good. There is no excuse for it. It's just awful. Aside from that, when I'm actually just trying to play the game with its poor optimization, here's what I'm having issues with. I know it's not a priority, but these shitty quips and phrases at the end of games gotta go, okay? I am not overconfident. I'm just better than everyone else. Oh, you know, I think I pulled something back there. Well, 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 that was fun. They're all just like, huh, that was fun. I think I pulled my leg back there. Is that all you got? I mean, dude, what are we doing? This is something that can just be completely taken out of the game. I've already seen someone on Reddit just make a nice edited photo of just disabling that. But you know they're going to monetize it. You know they're going to sell different phrases and quips for the characters to say at the end of a match. Just don't. We're already, dude, it's just... I don't know. I mean, I I don't know why I'm talking about this first, but it was the last thing I saw, and uh, yeah, it really annoyed me. It's like, what happened to the tone of the game? It went from gritty, realistic situations to, what if Disney Pixar made a shooter? I'm honestly surprised that the guns aren't literally paintball guns now, since they have the same ballistic performance as them. You can't shoot shit in this game. Bruh. moving fast all the time because the maps are so big they made the character models faster so you're shooting characters really far away just zigzagging having a terrible time and they're even faster now bullet spread is awful like larger maps with double the players sounds good on paper but the reality is that this has seemingly ruined the game for infantry like maybe the maps kaleidoscope and discarded are okay but the others are several orders larger than even the largest empty maps of previous games like sinai or hamada double the players means nothing if the maps are twice as large or often more so engagements either you spawn into a vehicle or you'll spend half of the round running across huge football fields of open ground hoping you're not spotted by one of the enemy aircrafts that you'll be powerless to avoid <laughs> And the cover that does exist in the map, it's largely indestructible, so I assume to afford some regular protection against the constant onslaught of vehicles. And as a result, though, there's practically no destruction at all in this game. Or at least not even in a way that evolves the map over a course of a round. If I, like, hit this... So many of them on if I, like, hit this building right here, let's see. Yeah, doesn't do anything. Look at that. Interesting. Huh. How about, are all of these like that? What the fuck? The more I look at it and the more this industry gets bigger, it seems like media today isn't even playing to an audience or even understands their audience. It doesn't even matter because they're playing to middle management, developers, artists, directors, or whoever. They want their head pats and their pay raises. They care more about their LinkedIn page than their product, okay? It's simple, it's easy to tell. This is just due to big tech and media being locked behind nepotism and career politics. The industry got way too big, and here we are, 
a bunch of normies with no imagination have hijacked your favorite franchises and they're riding them into the swamp. Will this game get better over time? Probably. It might. It has in other games. I don't know, man. I'm kind of over this AAA nonsense. I will say, though, the best thing about this Battlefield 2042 release is Portal, baby! Portal's really fun, actually. I've been having a great time in the older games, and probably because these games are completed games from the past, and all they had to do was just put a little bit of a nice touch up on it. But man, I'm having a great time with Battlefield 1942. It might as well just be called Tanks 1942, because that's all I've been doing. I love it. If you're not in a tank, you're pretty much fucked. I just get in my tank, go across the desert, blow people to death. It has been awesome. I love it. I normally don't even really tank in these types of games, but I'm having a blast, man. I love how simple the game is. Your assault with a simple STG. A second Anton objective has been lost. You're a medic with a Thompson or something like that. You're a sniper with a Car 98K or a Lee Enfield. Enemy infantry, look alive! And if you're anti-tank, well, you just have a bazooka and a pistol. That's all right, though, because it's still like a one-shot hit when you shoot a tank with it, so. We have enemy forces attacking an objective in Baker Sector. Portal is the best thing about this release, honestly. And even in the portal, they have these cringe quips and phrases at the end, and their mouths don't even move. Well, well, well. That was fun. Like, who made that choice? It sucks! This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. Like, a lot of the big issues are the design of the game. And I just don't know how you reverse it. It's not like bugs and glitches. Like, that can be patched. But the design choices, like, I just don't know how they're going to take the time to patch this thing up. Along with the quips and everything else, it just seems like this current game makes war out to be like this f***ing joke. Like in Battlefield 1, I would listen to the opening speeches about my nation overcoming enemies for the glory of empire, democracy, our ancestors, and a whole different combination of reasons that governments use to rally the troops up or whatever to go off to war. You get to the first trench line of St. Quentin Scar and you kill and die brutally in horrid, bloody fashion. From the moment you boot up that game, it tells you, you are not expected to survive. Like, that game understand that young men in war ran just recklessly across open fields to their deaths, friends and soldiers dying with explosives ripping, bullets tore through, steel eviscerated their flesh on like an industrial level, and you felt every second that one universal truth every soldier experiences in combat. War is fu- horrible. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that game respected war. It respected just how fucked up human conflict can get. It had a codex and taught us about the conflict we immersed ourselves in. It's not the biggest deal, and really, it comes down to gameplay for me in a lot of cases, but it just seems like 2042 could be showing us how destructive our current and future wars could be, but it doesn't. And having that expectation from other battlefields, you would think that'd be a thing in this game. Even in Battlefield 3, these soldiers would shout out crazy shit. Just as a form of communication and just coping with the fact that these guys are in war. Voice lines like, Get your shit together, our asses are fucked up! You hear me? Oh god damn it, they're gonna strafe us! Get your dicks in the dirt! Phrases like this offer a sense of realism and weight. Soldiers will swear and be angry in the heat of the moment in combat. I don't want to say it comes off as childish and how it portrays its world, but the colors are bright, the characters are quippy and sarcastic. Hell yeah, that was sick. When are we going to the next country? It's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, fuck? okay, yeah, yeah. It's like, who the fuck? Oh, okay, who yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the characters? I thought you meant like, oh wow, yeah. playing Battlefield makes me want to go to war. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, it's, yeah, it's just, it's just weird. I don't know, it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Bad chest. I, I just <laughs> killed entire town full of civilians to get their oil. Yeah. <laughs> On to the next country. That's what I'm saying. Let's resupply like, and go again. 
Wow, we just owned the city. We just killed everybody. Wow. When are we going to do it again? <laughs> And they've all got some backstory that makes them feel ironically less human than the generic support player screaming for his mom in Battlefield 1 or 5. Again, does this game need to be serious? Maybe not, but we've seen how compelling Battlefield 1 is and how intense older titles like Battlefield 3 feel. I don't know, I think they just kind of missed the mark with that. Overall, I'm not disappointed about buying the game because I think the portal mode is actually pretty fun and I'm going to find myself playing that a lot. Because those games were good. They were always good. And I feel like down the line, they're going to add more to that. And I'm hoping that Portal saves this thing, man. Because honestly, I don't know how good this game will be even when all the bugs are fixed. We've heard it all the time. Remember Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5? Well, their launch was really buggy. Give it six months and it'll be great. What they're failing to realize with this game is that I don't think it will be. The difference with this game is the core Battlefield gameplay experience this time has been completely butchered. The specialist system... The vast empty maps, the movement mechanics, gunplay, cringe voice lines, sound design isn't even good, the atmosphere is just soulless, it's empty, vacant. I just don't know how you change that. Really, at this point, I think DICE only cares about is damage control with the community. And they've been really bad with that in the past. And sorry to say, but unless DICE acts quickly to fix the portal issues, the game won't survive much longer due to the lack of content. And I think the developers from the classic games, they're gone from DICE. They lost over 10% of their studio after Battlefield 5, and that's in addition to more who left after Battlefield 1. The teams that previously built and saved these games are no longer there. So think about that. I'm going to keep playing with the game. I need them to optimize this game so I can actually thoroughly have a good experience with it and then base it off of that. But until then, I just don't, I don't have nothing good to say about it yet other than the portal. I like the portal. It's fun. But if I can't play this game at a decent frame rate, there's no reason for me to play Battlefield 2042. I just, it's just not enjoyable. I, not everybody should have a 3090 to play this game. If I was able to run the last Battlefield on Ultra, the games before that on Ultra, I just don't understand why I can't do it for this game. And I know 2042 has way bigger maps, but there's just no excuse for it. The reason why I love Portal Mode so much in comparison is because I can actually play it. Good frame rate, looks good, and the games are good. Guys, that's all I got for this one. Keep a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Appreciate you for sticking around. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the game. Are you enjoying it? I would love to hear if you're enjoying it, because I don't want this game to fail. I want it to do well. I'm just having a rough time with it right now. And if you'd like to play and show me a good time, if you're having a good time with the game, I want to see all the awesome highlights of this game, because right now I'm just sticking with portal mode. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Later.